imagine dropping a single individual drop of blue food coloring into a glass of water. The drop of food coloring contains countless molecules that are blue. Diffusion is a process where molecules move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. The difference in the amount of a certain type of molecule between two areas is called a concentration gradient. There is a concentration gradient between the drop of blue food coloring containing a high density of blue molecules and the glass of water containing a low density of blue molecules. When a drop of blue food coloring is placed into a glass of water, the blue substance slowly disperses throughout the glass of water until there is a uniform number of blue molecules throughout the entire glass. Diffusion that crosses a membrane occurs without any energy expenditure. The transportation of molecules across a membrane without the expense of energy is called passive transport. This example of diffusion uses water as an example, but the concentration of water in a solution is based on all of the other molecules that are present. For example, water is less concentrated if there's a lot of sugar in a solution with it. The sugar causes the water molecules to spread out, making the water less concentrated. With cells, diffusion occurs based on the concentration of water molecules found inside and outside the cell. If a greater concentration of water molecules are found outside of a cell than there are inside of a cell, the water molecules will diffuse across the cell membrane in order to move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. If you spend a few hours in the water, your fingers will begin to wrinkle. Wrinkled fingers are caused by the concentration gradient of water molecules between the cells in your fingers and the water you're submerged in. Because there is a lower concentration of water molecules in your fingers than in the water, water travels from an area of high concentration in the water to an area of low concentration in your fingers, giving your fingers a wrinkled appearance.